hello and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be having a productive day because i held stuff to the last minute so it's going to be productive because i have to do it and we have my dog back here because we are gonna go get Starbucks and then we're gonna go to the store to get oil some stuff because he just had surgery. <laughs> my poor baby. Could I get an iced um, matcha latte? Yeah, what size? A uh, grande. Grande iced matcha, okay. And then can I get two, uh, two of the pub cups? Okay. And then that'll be it. Alright, it's gonna be 8.30. Okay, thank you. Oh, the lighting was probably so bad on that. Okay, I got Oreo 2 Pub Cups. He's so excited, look. Okay, you're making a mess in my car! Here, get my finger. Yeah. Maybe I should have just gotten him in one. <laughs> Oreo. Slow down. You still have another one. I always get Oreo too because usually they give like a little, little bit. This time they like literally filled the plastic cup up all the way. So, yeah. We're just going to eat it in the parking lot. I asked if we were allowed to eat it in the patio and all that. They said yeah, but Oreo just had hip surgery so he has his stitches so they cut his fur. So, I'd rather him not be there Okay, 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 I get it, I get it. Relax, relax, relax. So, yeah, I'm just gonna eat and then I'm gonna tell you guys how I plan my productive day and give you guys. Okay, I just finished eating my Starbucks and I just wanted to go over something that I like to do when I know that I've been holding stuff like back and procrastinating it and i need to make sure that the next day is productive as possible and make sure i get everything done so the thing i like to do is the night before i like to make a list so i'm gonna put my list right here <clears throat> excuse me i'm so sorry i like to make a list of everything i want to do and i added just a car wash right now because my car is terrible like it's like so dirty so i do need to wash it and i am gonna take oil through it so i kind of want to see how it reacts He's kind of calm most of the time. Not right now, obviously, because he just had two puppuccinos that they actually filled up, filled up for him. So, yeah, and they think he's cute. And they probably also feel kind of, it's sad seeing a dog in a cone, honestly. But I like to put all of my stuff in a list and in no specific order i usually do it in order by what i'm doing and since i'm out right now i actually have to call oreo's vet because he's taking his worm pills and he's supposed to take it tomorrow and they didn't give me all his pills i have to go back and pick his pills up so i'm gonna call them right now and then after that i think we'll do the car wash since i'm already out and then as the list as i complete these tasks i'm gonna finish i'm gonna look at my list and see like what goes and what what like would go in like a smooth order without having to be driving like back and forth because you know gas is expensive right now okay so i am in the biggest rush ever because my dog's pills are like first come first serve which is like so dumb why would they do that so i need to make it to the banfield uh hospital things as soon as possible for my little doggy because he has to take his pill by tomorrow like this is like my fault and i hope i get it because if not i'm gonna have to drive around and see if i can go get it because if not then they're gonna charge me again just to get his uh heartworm tested thing and make sure he's good which i know he's good because they've done it to him like twice already i am i am almost there to the pet um uh, but his uh vet and i'm just hoping that they still have a pill left for us because I don't want to go somewhere else because I know the other one is really far and you know gas be expensive and you should have seen me on the freeway I was like freaking zooming like in the Fast and Furious because there's like so many like trailers I'm like these people gotta move out of my way like like I can't and I just I'm like, like my heart is so tense like my heart is like beating I'm like we have to get one we have to I'm gonna be I'm gonna run in there waiting for this red light to turn green or red okay thank you thank you thank you Okay, bag security. I got it. Oh my god. 
Literally, there's only one left, so I got the second to the last one, but I'm so happy. But I just spent like 32 bucks on this pill. Okay, so we got another thing checked off of our checklist. Now we're gonna get my car washed, and I'm gonna show you the before before I get it washed. And we're just gonna go in through a cheap one because I just spent money on him to make sure he doesn't get heartworms. I think that's what it is. And here we are. The camera's ready. Here we are. Gonna pay at the car wash. Gonna organize the back of my truck. gosh I'm like sweating but uh, I finished uh, cleaning my car and I even vacuumed it I didn't think I was gonna vacuum it I thought I was just gonna get a wash and they even I paid 10 bucks and they cleaned my tires so I recommend that you come to the express wash and one that's near you but right now we got car wash done now we can finally go home and we can start doing the stuff for Oreo like washing his stuff cleaning all of his stuff because I want to dedicate a single day just to getting my Oreo ready and prepped for the week so we're gonna go back home and he's right there panting because it is hot so I am gonna give him water so I'll see you guys at home we're home um i just wanted to go over tip number two for having the most productive day one way that i had try to be more productive is by dressing up because if you just stay in your pajamas like right right when you wake up in the morning it doesn't make you feel motivated and sometimes wearing a cute outfit and or wearing like a cute workout set even because sometimes running errands can get like sweaty because you're like going out running out like going groceries it can be hot like today it's pretty hot so i suggest like if you have a productive if you're planning on having a productive day get everything ready the night before get your to-do list done the night before and have your outfit ready the night before so that is just my second tip for helping you like actually get go through a productive day and be ready for a productive day another thing on my to-do list is to clean Ariel's cage disinfect it and that's what i'm gonna do so this is how his cage looks like right now because of his surgery so it usually doesn't look like this because i usually don't have blankets on it so let me show you okay so this is Oreo's cage i left him toys usually his toys are out but since he's supposed to be laying inside all day he's not even supposed to go out with me um i have a blanket as for cushion for his hip so his blanket started to smell just because you know he's i can't shower oreo right you cannot take a shower right yeah so he cannot take a shower because of his stitches well i'm not 100 percent sure but i am gonna do research on that so i'm just gonna clean this out oh my gosh look at him he looks so tired are you tired look how tired he looks it's hot outside Okay, so I want to explain to you how I clean Oreo's cage because using my like, disinfectant and all that is can be harming to dogs. I'm not 100% sure, I just know that my dog shouldn't be in his cage after he's disinfected so right now this is the state of his cage it looks clean and all but there's little stuff there but it actually smells because of the blankets because of his odor because he can't shower hey. <laughs> so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wash i'm gonna scrub it with a sponge that is specifically just for my dog to clean his cage and I just put Dawn and water and I'm going to foam it up and clean it. And then after that, I am going to put disinfectant. And then and then I'm going to scrub it again with the Dawn so that the disinfectant doesn't just like like remain there when my dog goes back in his cage.
done with Oreo's thing, uh, cage, but now we have to start doing warm compressions, and this should be, like, on him already, so, I'm just gonna place, you're okay, you're okay, it's just water and a rag, and it's warm, okay, so, as a way for Oreo to heal, he has to do, he had to do icing for the first five days, and now he has to do warming, I, I just call it warm compressions, because I like, just add a little pressure on it, just like, to hold it down because he moves around a lot but right now he's fine because he's tired but um i do this for about five minutes usually with the ice but i'm just gonna wait until like the thing gets cooled and hopefully it lasts like five minutes but that's what i'm gonna be doing but i just wanted to tell you guys my second tip for having a productive day the third tip would be to oh my gosh i literally forgot what it was <laughs> wait Oh, okay, my third tip for having a productive day is setting deadlines for yourself. So say like for me, I want to be done with everything by like 12 and it's like 10 something. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be done with everything. But like it doesn't have to be your whole list. It could be like half your list, which I'm already halfway through my list. And I'm just like very happy with myself because having a deadline, oh, I want to get this, this, this end done by like 12 uh, p.m. And it'll be just in time for lunch and everything will be done. So setting a deadline for yourself can help you very, very much. So I suggest you guys do that when you guys are having a productive day and want to get the most done. Are you ready to get brushed? You ready to get brushed? But he, he, the other brush wasn't him. Okay, so I got this new brush at Big Lots yesterday. I don't know exactly how much it was, but I got him a heating pad, and I got him uh, this brush, and then I got like myself like food and then and a uh, coke. So I spent like thirty bucks all in total. But this is the brush. It has a little clicker on it. Let me show you. It like moves forward. That's so cool. I need you to sit. So Aura is in the middle of shedding right now. He's shedding a lot. And I have to brush him. I haven't brushed him because some the other dog ate the brush. So this one, we're gonna brush him with this one. I think he likes it. You can't see because of his cone, but he's like trying to get at it. So I'm gonna tell you what tip number four is. Oh my gosh, I need you to lay down. Lay down, lay down, lay down, lay down. Right here, right here. Good boy, good boy. Okay, so tip number four is to constantly look at your to-do list or your notes. Wherever you have the to-do list, whether if it's, if it's, if it's whether you write it, oh my gosh, if you write it, if, if you have it in your notes, like, just always look at it because you can get overwhelmed very easily by like oh, so much that you have to do and when you like write it down and you look at it you're like okay these are all small things that i'm able to do because last night i was freaking out because i have so much to do especially about oreo's pill thing and then when i wrote everything down last night you're just enjoying yourself when i wrote everything down last night everything all these tasks seem so small so um, you get you actually overwhelm yourself thinking about all the little things that you have to do but when you write it down and look at it in paper like you're like oh okay this is like doable you know so, mm -hmm. so on now on the couch i finally finished brushing aura which took longer than expected because he is shedding and like he had so much hair coming off and i thought like if i kept brushing it it would come off but he just has so much so it is going to take a couple brushing sessions for that to go but right now i am going to edit my thumbnail for tomorrow's video which should, should have been done a long time ago but i'm gonna do that right now since it's the easiest thing and i have like a couple more minutes to um, do something like simple and easy and I know the other tasks I have are gonna be kind of lengthy So I'd rather do that because it's easy and then it'll, it'll be lunch time So I just finished having my lunch and I'm gonna finish watching the YouTube video I was watching but after that I'm gonna start editing my video 
and for my video it's not like a hard cut edit because i already did the hard cut edit it's just like simple cute edits that i want to add and final touches so uh, i don't think it should take me that long to edit it but i can't really show you how to edit because i record on my phone so yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna finish watching my youtube video and then i am gonna edit and then once i finish editing i'll show you guys when i um upload it so yeah i'm almost done i've done so much and it's barely 12 12 17 it's barely 12 17 and we got like nine things done and then oreos um what's it called <laughs> oreos um bed sheets and all that stuff are almost done washing so we've done so much today but i'll see you guys later <laughs> That's pretty much wraps up my whole productive day. I've done so much and I look tired, but I still have to do more stuff that is like not a part of this. That's not going to be a part of this vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that the tips that I gave you helps you be as productive as you can and prepare to have a productive day. So I'll see you guys in the next video next Sunday. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!